I think that she'll always be with us as long as we have pieces of celluloid that show uh, her uh, performances. And I think that, too, that she's embodied in a spirit that was quite marvelous. In fact, she is the only one that 20-some-odd years after her death still sells books, magazines. So obviously, it indicates that there was something unique and special about her. What makes Marilyn Monroe, why is she still a, mem a live member of our talk all the time? It has nothing to do with the scandal of her death. It's because she's the most talented motion picture actress alive in her day. Hollywood, the town where she was born. Even today, her presence is everywhere. Hollywood, where legends are made and worshipped. And even the most treasured among them can be defiled. What about her was so fascinating? At 16, she was just another young bride. One of her husband's friends was Robert Mitchum. When I first met Marilyn, she was Norma Jean Baker, Norma Jean Doherty, as a matter of fact, at that time. And I was working at Lockheed. Jim Doherty was my partner, and he had a picture of his bride. And she was very shy and very pleasant, very sweet. But uh, she was uh, not too comfortable around people because I suppose her background didn't prepare her for sort of uh, easy sociality. Norma Jean Baker was born in 1926. Her mother was in and out of mental hospitals and she was raised by strangers in an orphanage and nine foster homes. She never knew her father. Though seldom alone, she was always lonely, dreaming of the day it would all be different. It was the Roaring Twenties, so escape for Norma Jean was readily at hand. The exploding world of the movies. Her mother had worked as a film cutter, putting together all those miles of celluloid, of comics, romantic heroes, and screen sirens. Her favorite was Jean Harlow. From early on, Norma Jean believed that even a nobody could one day become a star. And of course I had no idea that uh, she was going to turn out to be Marilyn Monroe and that everybody in the world would know her. The war abruptly ended Norma Jean's life as a suburban housewife. Jim Doherty joined the Merchant Marine and Norma Jean felt abandoned once more. She took a job at a local factory where a photographer spotted her. The rest is history. It was in 1946, Mrs. Snively had a little agency. She called and she said, I have a girl, and I think she's, she might be interesting. So I said, send over. So a girl came in, nice, but nothing great. So I made some tests of her. From that time on, I used her for years. She had one bad front tooth, which I had fixed at my expense. Her hair was kinky, which someone else fixed. Uh, but she, she was a very good model. I had her on easily a hundred magazine covers. Her face and figure was well known long before she became Marilyn Monroe. She was convinced that she was not terribly pretty or sexy, really, you know. And as a matter of fact, she did not, she didn't have an aura of sexiness about her. But when she saw a camera, any camera, she lit up and was totally different. The moment the shot was over, she fell back into her not very interesting position. And I don't know how to explain that, but that's what makes a good model. She always talked about becoming an actress, but then every model wants to become an actress. This is the first car I ever owned. I call her Cynthia. She's going to have the best care a car ever had. 
put Royal Triton in Cynthia's little tummy. Right, lady. Cynthia will just love that Royal Triton. In Hollywood, prerequisite was to be pretty and have a great body as Marilyn did. There were all kinds of photographers in this town ready to shoot you in your bikini and put you on the cover of magazines, which always turned out to be not the kind of magazines you wanted your mother to read. Um, and finally, if you made the grade and you got uh, signed to uh, be a contract player at one of the studios, that was heaven. They hired you if you made a lot of publicity. They were really looking at what was highly saleable. Norma Jean's contract with 20th Century Fox came in 1947, after her divorce from Jim Doherty. Part of her new packaging was a change of name, Marilyn Monroe. When we were both very young and struggling, we used to sit in Schwab's drugstore and fantasize about the future. And both of us, uh, along with uh, having uh, glorious uh, careers and Oscars, of course, wanted the perfect husband uh, with perfect children. Marilyn got her first role in Scudahoo, Scudahay. The studio pronounced her unphotogenic and cut out all recognizable shots of her. In the 1940s...